Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is living their best life and if you aren't, please do something today to put you on the path living your best life. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this red look. So I already began by putting on my primer and right now I'm doing my eyebrows. So as I mentioned beforehand in previous videos, I'm still a beginner at makeup, learning new things. And one thing I still have not mastered yet is how to do my eyebrows properly, I guess. So right now all I'm doing is just filling in where there's holes in my eyebrows or where there looks like there should be a little bit more hair. here I'm just cleaning up my eyebrows a little bit as well as putting a little bit of concealer on my eyelid So I'm going to go ahead and put this gold eyeshadow on as like the base of my eyeshadow look. And I'm bringing this all the way up to my eyebrows but not exactly touching my eyebrows. In the darkest of days. And then right here I'm going in with this red color and I'm bringing it from the outside corner of my eye and I'm bringing it inward so most of the color is going to be concentrated on the outside portion and then I'm just going to like blend it into the middle and encroach it a little bit into my inner corner and then I'm also bringing that color down a little bit on my lower lash line And then I'm going in with this more vibrant red. Just look at the pigment. It's so nice. And I'm learning right now how to pack on color, or not even pack on color, how to make color pop a little bit more on my eyelid. So what I learned is just to dab the eyeshadow on, and that right there just allows more color to be on your lid. And then right there, I kind of messed up. It looked like I got punched in the eye for a second. But with a little bit of concealer, it'll come right off or you'll be able to cover it up. And over here, I'm just placing it all on my eyelid right below my crease. And I'm blending it a little bit inside my crease. And in a second, you guys will see me take a clean brush and then just go ahead and blend it even more on the outside portion. Blend it more into like the little goldish color that I put on in the beginning. And then right
right here, I'm taking that shimmery white color and I'm putting it in the inner corner of my eye as well as the arch of my eyebrow. Time for the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my foundation. I'm gonna use a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender at that, and I'm just gonna dab it into my skin. And then for my concealer, I'm basically going to be drawing a cross on my face. So I'm going to put putting concealer right underneath my eyes, but I'm not bringing it all the way up since I do have a little bit of eyeshadow on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to be doing a line on my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow, a little bit between my eyebrows, and then a little dab on the chin. I'm using the same beauty blender that I use for my foundation, but I'm just using the other side that is cleaner and doesn't already have the foundation on it. And then right here, I put a little bit of face powder on top of the concealer. I always hear that people always set their face and stuff with powder. I really didn't see a difference with it, but I don't think I did it properly. But yeah. And then I'm going in with a dark brown shade for my contour. 
I'm putting it where my face is naturally darker, so right below my cheekbone, right underneath my chin, around my edges, and then just basically around the whole perimeter of my face. And then I'm going in with that reddish mahogany pigment because I have red undertones in my skin and the foundation that I use used to be my mom's and she has yellow undertones so I'm just trying to bring out a little bit more of my red, you know? And then right here I'm taking a very light face powder and I'm just putting it on the outside or better yet the inside corner of my eyebrow because it looked way too blocky from my point of view from the other side of the camera and I just wanted it to look I wanted to look a little bit more put together like I actually know what I'm doing but you know as time goes on as I continue doing these makeup looks as I continue not perfecting my craft but getting better at doing makeup the eyebrows will look better I promise <laughs> Your lips, no, there's nothing sweet around. Time for the lips, or however he said it in the song. I'm going to go ahead and put on this wine color lip liner just to outline my lips to begin with. right here I'm just taking a little flat brush and or I think it's called a flat brush and I'm putting a little bit of brown on my lips I really didn't see the difference but I thought it would make a difference at the time of filming this video but it didn't really and then I'm going in with some red lipstick as you guys can see and I'm just putting it all over my lips um, I'm making sure that I not scrunch my lips together but stretch my lips so then I'm able to get it in the shape of my lips you know right here I'm just stretching my lips so and I'm able to fill in the lines and then right here I'm taking a dark wine color lipstick and I'm just putting it on the outside corners of my lips as well as the top line and the bottom line of my lip just to add more dimension to my lips you know Left to lose. No. I'm just dabbing a little bit of lip gloss on my lips to make them pop. <laughs> One thing I've realized with putting on lashes, I've been doing it all the way wrong. So apparently you're supposed to wait until most of the glue is dry, at least from what I hear, and then you put it on your eyelid. That makes so much more sense because lately I've just been m not messing up my eyeshadow, but just accidentally getting glue everywhere, you know what I mean? So don't be like me wait for your eyelash to dry a little bit more than this so then you're able to stick it on your lash line as close as possible but one thing i can say is that i'm getting a little bit better at putting on line lashes as you guys will see later on when i show you guys what it looks like on i got most of it on my lash line this time it's not all the way on my actual lashes and if you're still a beginner or you still have problem with like accidentally getting it on your lashes because your eyelashes are curly like mine don't worry when you take off your makeup just use either olive oil coconut oil or something like that to help it out but as you guys can see over there i'm getting a little better and then right here i'm just putting on some mascara just to try to blend in my real lashes with the fake lashes as well putting more on my bottom lash line um i heard that it's best to probably just put 
eyeliner on your um, eyes in order to blend in like the fake eyelash line and then your real lash line. So I'll probably work on that in my next video in regards to makeup on this channel just to try to, you know, see how it looks. hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos with that being said i hope everybody lives their best life peace love and light to you all Sunday.